Okay, for question number 10, we have the roots of the quadratic equation. Okay, uh, alpha and beta. Whenever you see alpha and beta, well, this question is about sum of roots and product of roots, yeah? So look for the keyword. We have x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0, whereby our x is alpha and beta. So we need to find the quadratic equation which has the roots of 2 alpha and 2 beta. So we need to find equation, okay, with 2 alpha and 2 beta as the root. So what can we do over here? Can you see this one? We always compare this to the general form that is x squared minus sum of root x plus product of roots equals to zero, okay? Compare like this. I like to write like this. Mm? I, I don't like to memorize the formula where sum of root equals to uh, what negative uh, alpha plus beta, something like that. I don't like it. I just like prefer to compare so that when your x square and x square, they are equal, they're having both having a positive one as coefficient, then we can compare the rest. In this case, the negative and negative, Therefore, sum of root must be equals to 5. What is the sum of root? That means alpha plus beta equals to 5. And on the other hand, product of roots must be 6. You see, positive, positive. Product of roots is alpha, beta equals to 6. So with this, we have to form the next equation. They have 2 alpha and 2 beta, right? So let's put a line to it. So let's find the sum of root for the new equation. Our sum of root here is 2 alpha plus 2 beta. So all in all, well, we will have 2 alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta has been found, that is 5. So put the 5 there, we have 10 over here. And on the other hand, product of roots equals to 2 alpha times 2 beta that is 4 alpha beta, whereby alpha beta has been found, which is 6. So our product of roots is 24. So with this, we can form equation in this form, an x squared minus sum of root x plus product of roots equals to 0. And what is our sum of root? It's 10, so put the 10 there. Product of roots is 24. So I just remember the framework that is the x squared minus sum of root x plus product root. Then every time I just replace whatever uh, sum of roots or product roots that I have just found. So I don't have to be worried about whether it is negative or positive. So in this case, we after we have just key in the correct number, we just open up the bracket and make it a proper uh, look of the equation. So we have just found the answer for question number 10.